Okay, so we removed the one screw, loosened the other screw, and rotated the fan down out of the way. And now you have access clear up underneath the burner. Now obviously uh, you're going to need a, uh, a nozzle or a piece of pipe or something uh, to put on your shop vac uh, that will fit through the hole and uh, fit up underneath the burner. Again, if you, can't, if you can't find anything that small, you will have to take that off, but then you can take these off too, which will give the opening a lot bigger underneath there that you can get a regular shop vac hose in there. Um, now, if you are using a shop vac hose, I highly recommend not doing it while it's lit um, because you will melt the hose. If you're using a soot master, then you don't have an issue. Um, anytime you're using like a plastic hose or anything, um, you do got a lot of hot ashes under there and you will suck all the hot ash in and in return, it'll melt the hose. Now, as far as cleaning underneath the burner, uh, we highly recommend every spring, when you shut your unit down, you clean every hole on the burner. Just take a drill bit or an L, get eighth, down through each hole, it's eighth, eighth inch, inch drill yeah. bit, and then you come back here, disassemble this, and clean underneath the burner. This needs to be done once a year. It doesn't need to be done uh, monthly or anything like that. But if you do it once a year, you'll be uh, in real good shape to avoid any buildup and the lack of uh, combustion air. And also, in there. what I want to point out here is once a year, yearly maintenance, is take these screws off. You're going to need a stubby, of course, again, um, to get this one. You'll get it's pretty hard to get at. Just try and loosen a little bit, but loosen these three up and you can just spin it over enough and you're gonna see gears inside there. You're gonna to wanna to leave about, about a quarter inch of the gear stick out. Do not ever fill up to the top. Always just fill it up to where quarter inch, eighth inch of the gear stick out. And what, uh, do you put 90 weight gear oil in yep, there? Yep, any type of gear oil, as long as it's gear oil. Okay. 